Hey guys, Gathering Magic back again, and it's time for another Splinter Forge crate uh, purchase and opening. So, want to give a shout out and a thanks to Bronze Dragon. Um, watched his live stream on Saturday morning, and he was doing a another Splinter Forge crate giveaway. And I was lucky enough to get uh, two crates again. So I kind of joked around with him, and I said, "Yeah, this is going to force me to do another uh, crate opening video." So we're going to do that. So I picked up some forge. And we're going to get a bunch of crates, open them up, and see what we get. Do some reforging, and uh, maybe get some enhancement bags as well. So you get a 10% bonus for buying 50 or more packs. So let's try, so if I do 60, that'll leave me 90,000 forge. Yep, let's do that. So let's get 60 crates. So after we get these, we're going to open them probably, we'll do 15 at a time. And see what we get. Hopefully we'll get lucky, get some more legendaries, and get some awesome reforges like we did last time. Okay, so we got an extra six packs, so we have 68 crates to open. So let's open... Now let's see, divided by four is 17. So let's open 17 at a time. See if that's a lucky number. So once again, when you open crates, um, there's no possibility like in Splinterlands of getting a gold foil. The only way you can get a gold foil is by reforging. Okay. So here are our cards. So we've got 21 different cards. So we've got eight commons, two rares. So we're guaranteed at least 17 rares or better. Two more leggings. <coughs> so there's our first uh, epic card. Superior Hardy Tome, another common. So all these commons will be reforged as long and as well as the rares. These are going to get reforged too eventually. So right now we're just hoping to get some epics and maybe some legendaries. So there's our second epic. There we go. Two gauntlets. So that's four epics. A couple boots. Okay, so no legendaries in those 17. We did get four epic cards. Let's go ahead and open another 17. I think last time I got, what was it, four legendaries out of 62 crates. So still hoping for that first legendary card. So starting off with a lot of rares. There's our first epic, Superior Wand. There we go, Elite Sword, legendary. Legendary card number one. Two boots. Oh, there we go. Two epic boots. Very nice. And then two epic quivers. Okay, so we got our first legendary card. Let's open another 17. Okay, so two extra cards. So this time we got a couple extra cards than we did for that first 17 where we had three full rows. So I'm hoping that a couple of these are legendaries. Okay, so we got two rare boots, some commons, rare bow, rare quiver, two rare shields. Okay, first epic is a tome, two epic quivers. Epic Shield, nice, getting a decent amount of epics. Our gauntlets, there we go, Elite Wand. I think I need that card too to level it. But we do have a um, Gold Foil Wand, so I may save this for um, a Legendary Combine. Have to see at the end of this how lucky I feel. Okay, so, so far we have gotten two Legendaries. 
and we've got our final 17 crates to open. So I think we're actually a little bit light on legendaries. At least according to how it went last time. Oh, here we go, guys. There's three rows plus five. All right, so hopefully we can get at least two legendaries. And we got one right off the bat. Awesome card, Legendary Quiver. <clears throat> this is one of the most um, expensive uh, legendaries, just for the simple fact that it gives you plus three speed if you're using a uh, the Ranger class. So very nice to get that. That and Boots are pretty much the two cards that you're looking for. And the reason the boots are, are better is because the boots can be used by e either class. This can only be used by the ranger. And there we go. Legendary likings. So we did get at least four legend and a tome. Awesome. I was just going to say we got four legendaries, which equaled what we got last time. But this has been an awesome 17 packs. So three legendaries, three um, epics, rare boots, rare bow or epic bow. Epic Leggings. Wow. This is our fourth legendary in 17 packs. Elite Wand. So save the best 17 for last, it looks like. Epic Tome and rounding it out with three rare tomes. Okay, so that was an awesome uh, ending to the pack opening. So now what we do is we go back. <clears throat> we go to Reforge. So this is where we're going to burn a lot of our Forgium. So we're going to reforge um, 61 times. We're going to reforge all of the commons into rares. Now this is something I wish we could do in Splinterlands. It would be so cool if you had like tons and tons of the old reward card commons that you didn't want. And you could burn the commons to get rares. You know, and then add like a DEC cost to it as well. So it would be another way we could burn a lot of DEC. So let's go ahead and let's reforge 61 times. We're going to get 61 rares. 10% um, chance. 7,500 forge. So 10% chance these will turn gold. So with 61 reforges, we should get, on average, um, 6 gold foil cards. So let's see if we can at least get that. Starting off with, wow, 10 tomes. There we go. Two gold foil swords. So there's two. Two gauntlets. There we go. Nice. So we got a gold quiver. So that's three gold foils. Gauntlets is four gold foils. Hauberk is five. There we go. Two shields. That's seven. So above average so far. So we got one more than uh, was average. So we ended up getting seven gold foils. Now the only bad thing is, if there is such a thing, you can cannot combine gold foils um, and reforge them. Okay, so now let's reforge all the rares that we have. And we're going to reforge these into epic cards. This is where it gets exciting because you start getting epic gold foils. Um, those add a 12% bonus um, to all your earnings. And of course, epic cards naturally are better than rares. So this is where... You know, you don't see as many gold foil epics and even less are the gold foil legendaries. So let's reforge all of our rares into 20 epics. This will cost um, 10,000 forge. Go ahead and do that. Once again, we have a 1 in 10 chance that any of these are gold. So it looks like pretty good chance at least one of these will be gold. But let's see. Okay, so we've got an Epic Quiver. Wow, five Agile Boots. Very nice. Boots are what you want. But it does take a lot of Epics just to even level them to level two. Two Gauntlets, two Bows, a Sword, a Tome, a Shield. There we go. Gold Foil Epic Sword and three Hauberks. So nice. So we did get one gold foil epic um, nice thing is the most that we got were the boots which is the best piece so happy with that now if we want to reforge our epics into legendaries we could do that four times it takes 2500 forge uh, for each and eight epics now before i do that looks like i have seven boots i'm trying to remember how many 
you need to level these up. So, oh wow, you need 16 to get it to level 2. But if you can do it, you get that plus 4 speed boost. So I think I'm actually going to save these boots. I'm not going to reforge those. You know, because I'm going to be doing um, more and more reforging in the future. So let's take our epics. Uh, let's just go four. And then let's take off the boots. That'll probably knock us down to three. Nope. We still can do four reforges and we are saving the boots. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll reforge. 7,500 forge. You will lose one BCX card points if you proceed. Okay, so that means I'm trying to reforge something that's already leveled. Uh, what is leveled out of all this? I thought they were all level one. Maybe I need to uncheck one more. Maybe I had one too many. So let's reforge. You reforge commons into rares. I wonder why I didn't do it all the first time. Okay. Well, let's do the commons again. I thought I did all the commons. Maybe there's a maximum you can do at one time. Oh, it might have been 50. Oh, there we go. Wow, very nice. Wow, okay. So, with 11 reforges, you should get one gold foil rare. I got three, so that was definitely worth it. Okay, so let's go back to the rares. We can reforge one more time. Rares I don't care about. So that is not an issue. I've got a wand. Okay, so now let's go to epic. So now it says five. Let's do four. Oh, I think it's because you have to uncheck a certain amount. Okay, let me let me do it this way. Um, so let's save the boots. Do the quivers, the tome. Basically, anything other than boots is fine. Okay, so this will tell me. Okay, reach two. Because it takes eight. Okay, so now I reach three. Reached four. Okay, so if I do one more, it's one extra. So of all these, let's actually just save a quiver. Okay, so reached four reforge cards. Okay, so we're going to reforge four times. So this will give us four legendaries. 10% uh, chance of getting a gold. So 40% chance we'll get one, basically. So fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get a gold foil legendary. So there's a gold foil hauberk, gold foil bow. There we go, gold foil elite short bow, and I believe I already have one. So just like in Splinterlands, it only takes um, an additional gold foil to level it from one to two, so that's awesome. So I'll be able to get that bow to level two, and then a legendary quiver, very nice. Okay, so let's go back. Now, one thing that you can do, and I don't know if I've ever done this, maybe once, it's been a long time. You can reforge two legendaries that you don't want, into a random legendary. Now it's going to cost you also another 15,000 forge, but it's the only way you can get um, a special set of cards from the Narder set, and each Narder's piece is a 10% chance of being gold foil. So before we do that, let's take a look at our cards. Let's look at our legendaries. Okay, so of all these cards, so if I was going to do that, I don't need the leggings because I already have gold foil leggings. So that could be one that I get rid of. Um, what would be another one? Actually, the wand I have is already level two and I got two more of them. Let's go to the short bow. Now, if you combine them, Okay, awesome. So the bow is now level two, doing five damage. So I have a couple extra bows. I could use those. The shield, I'm, yeah, shield's really not super important. 
um, just looking at the gold foil. So definitely if I was going to do that, I would do one of the leggings. Look at all these I have two of. I need one more tome, one more gauntlet, one more hauberk, one more shield. Um, I do have three of the sword now. So we could also combine the sword. This will get the sword. To level two so that is nice I'm thinking we're gonna do it so I'm gonna use the leggings for one of the pieces I could do the quiver for the other since I do have one extra quiver but the part I piece I really don't care too much about of all these and is probably the cheapest one would be the shield because that can only be used by the warrior so let's go ahead and try that let's go and let's reforge, see what we get, so I can show you guys how this works. So you click on Legendary. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to combine the leggings that I don't want and one of the shields. So this is going to cost me 15,000 forge. Now, I could get one of those two pieces back. And you cannot get a Legendary, or you cannot get a Gold Foil uh, legendary that you could normally get through combining and what I mean by that is if I combine right now I'm not going to get gold, gold foil leggings I'm not going to get a gold foil quiver the only gold foil I could possibly get would be from that Narder set which would be fantastic um, otherwise you can get any regular legendary so you can get any of these or you could get the Narder set so very hard to get very difficult to get and like I said it costs two legendaries and 15,000 forge but let's go ahead and do it just this once See if we get lucky. And then with our remaining forge, I'm either going to buy some bags or maybe some more crates. I might buy more crates because we've been lucky with crates and there's still things that I want to uh, to level. Okay, so a moment of truth. Let's see if we get a uh, gold foil card or do we get a new uh, Narder set piece or just an old legendary. Oh, awesome. Okay, Narder's boots. So this is one of the um, pieces you can only get through combining. Um, the only downside is it's the boots. And boots, usually people use the normal boots because they have the speed. But there is um, a set ability where if you get a certain amount of these set pieces, uh, you get bonuses to your hero. So not the worst thing in the world. Um, excited to have it. Plus it automatically comes with two sockets. So that is, I believe, my first Narder set piece, other than the ring, which I had since uh, the game first launched. So very nice. So glad to get the boots. So let's go ahead. Let's get some more um, crates and see if we can get another legendary and maybe level one of these other cards. So let's go back to the shop. Uh, let's see, maybe 10. So 30,000 forge. <clears throat> should be enough to do any kind of reforging that I want to do. So let's buy 10 more crates. And then hopefully either we open a legendary that we need, or maybe we can, I don't know if I'll be able to reforge all the way up to a legendary, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I love I love this uh, Splinter Forge game. Very, you know, it's not super complicated. You know, it's a way to use your Splinterlands assets in a different way. Um, you know, it's fun to kind of build up your hero. And, and like I said, the, the mechanic that I really like about this is, is the burn mechanic. Okay, so let's open all 10 crates. So we got 17 different items. Wow, right off the bat, I think it was worth it. Legendary wand. So that is awesome. Rare boots. Lots of commons, couple of rare gauntlets, some quivers. So it looks like the best card was first, but I will definitely take a legendary. Not going to complain about that. So let's reforge again. So we can reforge our commons again. So 
see if we get any gold foils. So we got seven, so basically a 70% chance of getting one. Oh, there we go, gold foil boots. Awesome, and a gold foil quiver. Very nice, so two gold foil rares. So let's combine our rares. So we can combine our rares into three epics. Tome, boots, and leggings. And I could do one into a legendary. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. I've got a lot of boots, but it's going to take so many of those to level up. So let's just use the least amount. Because realistically, you want legendaries. Okay, so let's just go ahead and reforge. Get one legendary, so we got a 1 in 10 chance of getting a gold. So probably won't get a gold, but another quiver. All right, so let's take a look, see what our collection's at now. So for legendaries, so for the quiver, we can definitely combine that. So just so you guys can see, um, exactly the same as in Splinterlands. So once you have a legendary, it takes 3 to get to level 2, 6 to get to level 3, and then 11 to max it. So we are going to combine three of them. So that will give us a level two quiver. So that now has five speed, which is awesome. That's really going to help. Uh, what else did we get? An extra one of the wand. We have been getting a ton of wands. And it figures because I have a gold foil wand. So it's level two. So to get to level three, I need um, three copies. And I actually could do it. Maybe at some point I might actually sell this. So a level three one. So now it's the question of, okay, do you use the level three regular foil or the level one gold foil? I think what I might do is add a socket to this and then move these gems on over. I mean, the 16% forge bonus is nice, um, but I'll be doing so much more damage with this. So I think I'm going to do that. And... Once again, so I've got a couple extra boots, a couple extra hauberks, gauntlets. So we've got 11,000 forge left. Let's just um, buy a couple bags. I've really been slacking on um, the enhancement bags for the gems and runes. And there are some very good gems and runes you need. And especially as you get um, legendary cards and all that, you're going to want higher um, level damage runes. Basically, right now, the runes that I'm using are uh, rare so if i can get better than a rare that would be very helpful so let's go ahead and open these two bags see if we can get some epic or better um, damage runes so we've got two chipped fire runes which allow you to play a fire monster say so a chipped amethyst so there's a faded emerald this is uh, one of the first items um, that you want to buy if you're starting uh, Splinter Forge from scratch. If you're just building your hero and starting out, uh, these are very cheap and these give you um, four points. Uh, Chip Death Rune, Faded Amethyst. Like I said, here's another. Um, this is what I'm using right now on my heroes. I'd love to upgrade that to Epic. Life Force Rune, another rare. Finishing off with a Chipped Ruby. Okay, so we are going to be transmuting a few things. So I can transmute one of these. Now, there are no gold foil versions of uh, Gems or Runes. They simply go up to the next tier. So another Faded Amethyst. And I actually could get one. So I need to transfer six of these into an Epic. And I definitely want to do that because I need to start getting some Epics. Don't care about the Mastery Rune or the Life Rune. Three... Faded Ruby, I'll keep. Let's do that. See if we can get a damage rune. <clears throat> okay, what is this? Polished Hearts Blood Rune. 4% chance to inflict bleeding. Hero damage divided by three, rounded down for three turns, stackable. Okay, so this will give you a little bit more damage um, for your hero. So nice. I did not have that one, so nice to have. 
Okay, so now let's take a look at the collection, see how the collection's shaping up. So for the commons, I was able pretty much to, to burn through and combine the ones that I have. Um, I still have a couple uh, lower level runes. And go to rare. So now we're getting into the gold foil uh, rares. So these I probably will end up combining and then maybe selling um, since I'm really um, trying to get epics and legendaries, of course. But these are nice for starting out. When you're first starting out in Splinter Forge, you're going to be combining a lot of commons into rares. If you can get um, one piece of each of these gold foils for your heroes starting out, they will carry you a long way, um, at least against the bronze boss. And all those 8% earnings add up. You'll end up getting close to 50% uh, extra forage every battle simply by having uh, one piece of these gold foil rares. So don't think just because the rares are not worth anything. These are val very valuable at lower levels. Um, up to epics, we're starting to get a nice, you know, a few nice little gold foil epics here. And then with legendaries, the big hit today was getting that gold foil bow, which allowed me to level the bow from level one to level two. So now our damage went from three to five. We check the hero. We look at the range. So now my ranged attack is 12. So I'm capped at 10 in bronze. So this means I'm getting pretty close to where I could probably start uh, trying to fight the silver boss on this account and just see how I do. Now, when you fight against the higher tier boss, um, not only can you use um, better stats or better cards on your um, Splinter Forge hero, you can also use higher level cards that you own in Splinterlands. So this is basically like what used to be max silver. So now you can use higher level cards that are max silver against this boss, as well as um, better hero stats on your hero in Splinter Forge. So um, the boss, of course, is harder. They have two abilities instead of one and higher stats. So you have to come up with different strategies on how to do uh, better damage against this boss. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I did. Like I said, it's always fun uh, to open crates, combine cards, um, you know, build up your stats, build up your, your equipment. Um, probably we'll do another one of these in the next month or so as I uh, continue my journey through Splinter Forge. Um, if there's any questions or comments uh, that you guys have about Splinter Forge, um, please check out my YouTube channel. I did uh, create a uh, playlist specifically with every Splinter Forge video I have ever done um, going back a year and a half. So some of that may be outdated, but a lot of it is relevant to the game today. So please check that out if you are interested in Splinter Forge. I think that's it, guys. So, as always, stay the course, keep on splinter forging, and have fun building your hero. Take care.